Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a the second part of a dollar a day haul, and this is actually all of the dollar items. So this is 46 items that I spent $46 on, and uh, eight of the items have already sold. So I do try to get everything listed before I get stuff in a video so that I can kind of disclose any flaws or anything like that. Um, and things sell sometimes immediately. So anyways, at the very end, I'll pop in some pictures so you can see the eight items that have already sold from this day. None of those, I mean, most of the, the sale price, you know, range from about 15 to 25, but that's pretty typical for a lot of my dollar items. Still a great return. Definitely already made my money back on this haul. So anyways, if you are not subscribed and you like reseller content specifically around eBay and Poshmark, uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below if you want to keep keep up with the videos coming. And if you like the thrift hauls, specifically the dollar uh, items, just to see what things I'm willing to pick up for a dollar, definitely hit the thumbs up. Let me know. I very much appreciate those. All right. So I've got a couple bags here. We're just going to start with this one. And all right. So this one is a really adorable dress and it's actually a great size. I believe it's a 14. So I know we're kind of leaving summer, but I pick up things year round, things sell for me year round. So this is a little spaghetti strap dress, kind of fit and flare, really adorable little floral print. And this is the anthropology brand Girls of Savoy. And the tag is a little mangled. So there's that one. And then the size is 14, which is awesome. It does have the smocking on the back, which is really great. Um, you know, to be able to fit many, many different people, especially up on the chest, but I just liked it. There was a very small spot, which I just disclosed in the listing. Very, very tiny. It might be this little, little spot right there, if you can even see it. But, um, you know, with something like that, I don't, I don't worry too much. It's not very obvious. So, and if you want to see how I price these things, um, my eBay and Poshmark are listed below. I price a little high to allow room for offers, but you know, most of this stuff, is probably going to average about 20 to $25. Um, some less, some more, we'll, we'll see. If anything stands out as like a really great item, I'll, I'll highlight that. All right, this, I really loved this, this top and I have not had much luck with this design or this, uh, yeah, this designer, but I just, I like the boho. I love the lace and the lace at the bottom. So this is Tracy Reese and this is her Plenty line, which is kind of one of the more common ones. I liked it. <laughs> so for a dollar, I decided I'd, I'd pick it up. It just is kind of my style. All right. This is Finders Keepers, I believe. Yeah. And I've sold this a couple times. It doesn't get too much for me. I think when I first picked it up, I thought it was like a really great pickup. But then I've learned I probably wouldn't pick pay more than a dollar or two for for this brand now some of their items ha can do pretty well i usually just find the items that are a little bit more in that 20 to 30 range so it's got this open back which i thought was fun and yeah this is a little anthropology top and the reason i picked it up was because it was a size 12. i may not i have decent i have like 50 50 luck with so typically i'm a little bit pickier um, with it even for a dollar so I have to like the print. Sometimes they have really cute novelty prints and stuff, floral prints, but uh, something kind of basic like this. I figured because it was a size 12, it's kind of just a nice basic piece. So I'll probably only get 10 to 15 for this, but again, for a dollar, I know what I'm getting into. Size was a factor there, so. All right, I got a few Madewell items. For some reason, I photographed them all at the same time. So they're all clumped right there. This one I thought was adorable. So it's made well, size medium, and it just says moi, which is cute. Some people have this listed for close to $50, and I'm thinking that's not what the comps show, but I'm always amazed at how high up some people can price things or will price things. But um, anyways, it's adorable, probably only in that 25 range is my guess, but a couple, oh, this one's pretty fun. Oh, this chaser, so not made well, but... <laughs> If this were just, a, I like my, I like my tees oversized. So if this were a little bit bigger, I would be keeping this because I mean, during COVID, this has been kind of a staple for a lot of people is white wine in the daytime. So I thought that was kind of cute. So chaser, I don't pick up unless I really like the graphic these days. 
their their classic or their basic stuff they they do sell or they have been sold at costco and so it kind of brings down the value but if i like the graphic and it's cheap enough so for a dollar i'll definitely pick it up this is made well just a really great little basic again probably in that 10 to 15 dollar range 12 to 15 is my guess but i love the little front tie and some people are scared to pick up extra, extra smalls. It, for me personally, I've had pretty decent luck with the super small sizes uh, because some stores don't carry the super small sizes. So they have to buy online. And um, I know it's a struggle for people of all sizes to find things to wear. So um, yeah. All right, this is another little Madewell. And it's just another, it's like a little tank. I'm not sure if you can read it. I can't read it backwards on my screen right now, but I just thought it was kind of a nice basic. So, and then this one I've picked up, sold a number of times because it's, it's easy, it's easy to find these days. I think the value of it has gone down. I think the first time I sold it, it was like $30 and now I'm lucky to get 15 to 20, but I do like this cream color and the texture and thread line of Madewell tends to still do pretty well. So all right, this one already sold, so this is going out tomorrow. And this is J. Jill. Oops, a couple of strings, a little string. I'll chop that off later. Uh, but this is New Tags XL Linen J. Jill, and it's a sleeveless maxi dress. Really nice basic. And this took about a week to sell. It sold for full price for, I believe, $39. I didn't pull this up. Um, but I'll pop in what it was for, but it's old full price in about a week. So I'll put that over there since it's going to get shipped off. All right. This one I'm really tempted to keep, but uh, yeah, if, if it were like a medium, I probably, this is kind of an oversized style of top. The first time I found this, or I didn't find it. The first time I found out about spirit Jersey was in a thread up box and it was a men's thread up box and it was new with tags. And when I looked up comps, I was pleasantly surprised. It was like 40 or $50 was the comps, new with tags. Now I will say <laughs> I picked it up twice. I think I've got two of them in here. Yeah, I picked it, I picked it up twice since. This one is uh, Fairmont in San Francisco is a hotel, very nice hotel in San Francisco. They have this beautiful Christmas display in the winter where you can go and just kind of enjoy that. Um, and they've got a lot of like really nice weddings and anyways, it's, it's a great little, um, place to go if you, if you're in town. And so I thought, oh, this is, you know, perfect. Well, when I looked up comps, I mean, it was only a dollar, so it's not that big of a deal. But when I looked up comps, really the spirit jerseys that get the really good money are Disney, Star Wars. I think there was one other one. And so if you find those, some of those were selling 150 to $200, like crazy. Uh, and there's all different types. But so when you do a, a search, maybe using Completely, which is an uh, iOS app that I use for comps for eBay, um, if you filter high to low, you'll see all the highs and it's all Disney and Star Wars and, and that kind of stuff. So this isn't gonna get too much money, probably only about 25, but I couldn't find one exactly like this. So yeah, I'm tempted just to keep it, but. Here's the other spirit jersey. This one, unfortunately, had a little stain. I tried to treat it and I couldn't get it out. But this says Vineyard, which they did have a collab with Vineyard Vines. I don't believe this is part of it because all of the Vineyard Vines collabs actually had the logo for Vineyard Vines. So, and then they do have, they did have some for Martha's Vineyard, but that's specified. So I'm not sure if this is just, but, and I don't know if I showed the tag, but it just says Spirit. And then on the back of the tag, it will say Spirit Activewear. Um, but there, it also goes by spirit Jersey. So this is a medium. This had a little bit of a spot right here that I couldn't get out. So I'm probably not going to get too much for it, but I do think it's cute, cute color. So we'll see. Speaking of Disney, I don't pick up a lot of Disney. I, uh, I, yeah, Disneyland overwhelms me just the amount of people and screaming. And so I'm very overwhelmed by Disney. So I'm not drawn to it. However, I have had decent luck with some Disney items for a dollar if I like it and I think it's kind of fun and it's Disney branded, I'm, you know, I'll probably pick it up. I've done some, I've done pretty well with Disney Torrid collabs as well, but I just thought this was a really, it's a vintage inspired, you know, crop tee. I thought it was kind of cute. It's got that, you know, worn vintage-y look, but with a pair of high-waisted shorts, I thought that was adorable, so... 
This is a Prana shirt. Prana is one of those brands that I pick up mainly only if it's a dollar or two. Um, there are certain styles that can do really well, like if it's a jacket or something like that. But most of the stuff I find is just a tee or maybe some capris or something like that. And those are, you know, in that 15 to 25 range for most of that stuff. So, uh, but I liked the color on that. This is a brand that I do fairly well with and I see more and more. So I'm guessing the value is going to start going down. Not that it was ever high value for me. It was just kind of a quick seller and I've noticed it's slowed down a little bit, but it's XCVI. And this I liked because fall and winter, this has got ruching and a hood. It's a little awkward to hold, but it's got ruching on the sleeves. It's got the hood, which I love. And then it's got ruching on the back, which is great. So something like that is probably 25-ish range. This is a brand I definitely only pick up if I really like the item. And I, I liked this. And for a dollar, I thought it was just going to, it was going to look very nice. Oh man, where's the tag? So it's BCBG Max Azria. Whoops. And I just really like the black knit and then it has, oh, let's not snag. Let's not snag. It's got a belt. Um, it's probably gonna be easier if I just pop in a picture if I remember. Uh, it's just a cardigan. It's got a little belt. It's flattering because it just pulls in at the waist. It's just a great basic in my opinion. So, and I think I put it on a size six mannequin and it fit great. So small, medium is the size that's, yeah. And now it's gonna be pulling me. Ah, oh, the belt. <laughs> this is great. All right. Okay, this is, I think another Prana. Yeah, just a really nice little knit purple sweater and maybe the same donor, but I thought the color was nice. So probably, you know, 20, 25 for that as well. This is a really great fall piece. Soft surroundings I do okay with. Um, I think some factors are I try to think of different things like size and material. So this is actually, I believe a wool blend. Yeah, so wool blend, it's just a really nice classic waterfall front cardigan, um, just kind of an open cardigan. And, you know, grays with a pair of jeans and a white t-shirt and boots, it's just easy, easy outfit. All right, this is Broadway and Broom. Every time I say, I'm gonna stop picking this up because I can't seem to sell it anymore. I keep picking it up because then I find something I like. So this is a really cute silk dress and I love this little eyelet detail. It's got a little bit of an elastic down here at the waist. It's got pockets, I believe, which I really love. So size eight and yeah. I think this might be the first time I picked it up and I recently picked it up again a couple days ago. So we'll, and it was another sweater. I, so I haven't found, I think I've actually found the jeans before, but they were full price and the comps for that style didn't look that great, but IRO. Um, yeah, I didn't find too many comps for sweaters. I did find this one probably only in that 20 to $25 range, but it is a good brand. So um, yeah, we'll give it a shot. This one actually sold flawed. So I only sold it for $8 on eBay and they paid shipping. So I do make a small profit. It's selling quick. But when I went to go photograph it, it's a Stitch Fix brand called 41 Hawthorne. When I went, I thought this was just a really great fall piece with the maroon and then I love polka dots and all that. But when I went to go photograph it, there was a snag on the sleeve. Okay, so I'm not sure if it's going to pick up, but basically... It could turn into a hole. And so I would just rather move it quick, sell it for cheap and just get my money back. This cost a dollar, but I don't know if you can see, there's just a couple little snags right there. And I tried to pull it a little bit. Sometimes with certain materials, you can kind of pull out snags. It helped a little bit, but um, yeah. So that's actually going out tomorrow and small, small profit, but at least it sold. Uh, this is another Madewell item, just a really lightweight. Uh, let's see, size extra small, but kind of oversized. Uh, very, very thin, lightweight. Just a fun little striped tee. 
This one I absolutely love. Uh, this is Torin. And man, oh man, love, love, love. It's got this kind of boho vibe. It's got the little detail down the front. It's just an open cardigan, kind of rounded at the edge right there. But love this. Would definitely, definitely keep this if, if it were a little bit smaller because it's cute. So, but I'm not, so it's there. <laughs> It'll sell. All right, this is a theory dress and it kind of has like a worn, like a faded look, but all the stock photo or all the photos from other listings look the same. So it's theory size 12, which is a great size and just a little sleeveless uh, dress with just this kind of unusual, subtle, yeah, and it's got pockets. So kind of a sheath style, um, something like this you could wear to just, you know, a little cocktail party, or you could wear it with a blazer and wear it to work type of thing. So, you know, theory, it's hit or miss for me. It is a very expensive brand. That dress was probably $250 or something, but um, the comps are not the best on certain items. So probably only getting about 30 to 40 for that, which is not bad for a dollar, no complaints, but, and size helps. All right, so this is an anthropology brand that I have sold before. It's Merrick Marrakesh. And I did find the style. Um, these are just kind of a nice little jogger pant, casual kind of cargo style jogger pant. Uh, there is a small spot. I tried to get it out. I couldn't. And now I'm not gonna be able to find it, but I just disclosed it. So I'm probably not gonna get too much for this. Maybe, you know, 10 to 15, but I'll, I'll at least make some profit. I'm sure of it. So this is a brand I sold once before and the comps aren't that great, but I thought this was a really nice fall piece. It is an unusual, um, like I don't find it all that much, but these are a crop, just a snakeskin looking cropped skinny pants. And I thought with the color just being like a really nice fall color, I could see this being really trendy with some ankle boots, just a little bit of the ankle peeking through or the, yeah. So anyways, uh, comps for this are probably in that 25 to 30 range. So maybe 35, we'll see. All right, I picked this up. I know I've heard some people say st uh, Stussy. I, I grew up saying Stussy, Stussy. Oh man, no, I can't even say it. Um, so I don't know what the actual correct pronunciation is, but my friends and I all, all said Stussy. So, and this was popular back then. This is kind of popular again, I guess, but I, I, I think I wanted to pick it up a couple times and there's always been issues. And there actually is a little bit of an issue with this, but I didn't notice it. So one of the sleeves, has a little bit of a spot, which I'm not sure if it's gonna, yeah, I think it's right there. So again, it didn't come out with a little bit of stain treatment. So I just disclosed that, but I thought it was fun. Also, I didn't realize when, cause I didn't look at the tag. I just, it says Stussy Girls. So I guess this is a girl's sweatshirt, which I would not have picked up if I would have known. I just thought it was like a small women's, but anyway, some Stussy stuff can do really well, so. All right, a couple men's items. This is RVCA, and this is a collab with a, I believe he's a skateboarder, Curran Coppler, I believe. Now this is new with tags. So this was original price of 75, yeah, 75 US. And it's just a really great kind of utility. It's actually a shirt is what they call it, but I actually feel like it's more of like a heavier shirt, could be a light jacket. So, and I think I already have a washer or two on this. So <laughs> this one is so fun. This had the tiniest little snag, which I had noted, but Zara Man, uh, I never get too much money for it, but it usually sells, especially some, some of the funky stuff. And this is martini glasses or cocktails. That actually looks like an island beverage cocktail with the lime or something anyways it's adorable lightweight fun probably only you know 15 dollars for that but this is scotch and soda uh, another brand mason scotch scotch and soda that i've had pretty decent luck with it's just a really nice men's button down button front i should say and then it's just got some accents um contrast 
which is nice. A lot of these men's shirts, you know, in that 20, 15 to 25 range. This is Marc Jacobs, marked by Marc Jacobs, um, which you would think, oh, it's a designer. It'll get a lot. I'm probably only going to get about 25 for this, but it is a fun print. I think I already have a watcher on it. Um, yeah. This one I liked, <laughs> so I grabbed it. Uh, it's short sleeve, which I don't find a lot of short sleeves that I like, like button print shirts. I like the color blocking, and I just thought it was kind of a nice basic J. Crew. And then I think this is the last men's item, and then one more small bag, and then I've got the stuff that's already sold. This is, this is men's. Oh, every time I do these videos, people say the buttons go on the left. And then every time I forget, um, I know some people say like, oh, just write down notes. It gets a little scatterbrained when you're filming yourself and trying not to have too long of a video. But, um, so this is an Adriana Goldschmid button front shirt, and it's just got a very subtle print, but I love the color scheme, kind of that cream and blue little spots and yeah. All right. So this was unusual and I didn't realize there was a little bit of a spot that I couldn't get out, but some of the stuff by this, um, I think it's a ski wear brand, uh, can do quite well, like hundred plus this sweatshirt, like even some of the sweatshirts, this sweatshirt probably is only going to get about, you know, 20 to 30, partly because the spot, partly just because the um, color, but this is a women's sweatshirt. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but hopefully you can see the brand i'll get the tag as well but i hadn't seen it i decided to look it up i wasn't too like too much of a fan of the color but i thought it was interesting and sure enough some of the sweatshirts can do really well like i said this one probably not too great but uh, for a dollar i definitely thought i'd give it a shot especially since winter's coming so whoops this is calypso <laughs> The dog is right back there and also my lighting is all over the place. She uh, was sitting outside in the sun and now she came inside to cool down, but it's not actually all that hot today. So Calypso, St. Bart, I always want to say St. Barth, but I believe it's St. Bart. Anyway, it's just a linen top. I've sold one like this. I think I have another one listed in a different color, probably only in that $20 range. So I have, when I first found this brand, it was something like a caftan or something like that. And I ended up selling for 75, 80. So some of the stuff in this brand, it is expensive, but most of the stuff I find is just in that 20 to 30 range. This is a pair of Hudson and this is size 26, just a distressed cropped and it is a little bit blown out at the knees. So I'm just noting it is distressed, but anyways, I wouldn't pay too much for a pair like this, but it's just kind of a, a great basic. So, all right, Lucky Brands. I do like when I when I just find the prints that I like, just their basic tees. You know, this is kind of very boho, love the color, and Lucky Brand. So I'll probably only get about 12 to 15 for this, but I thought it was adorable. And then lastly was something I thought was really interesting. There is which now I can't remember where the small flaw was. Might've been a little spot, but also the comps on this aren't all that great. I thought when I Googled it, when I, when I first looked it up, I think on something, it wasn't pulling up anything. So I Googled it and it's a store in San Francisco that I've never heard of. And so I was like, oh, okay, that's great. It's gotta be, it's actually says SF California right there. So I thought, oh, it's fun. It's got the rainbow. It's just a little sweatshirt. I thought this has gotta be something. Not really. And it's also got like a little, little spot back here, which I'm not sure if it's going to pick up. It's got some pilling. So I'm probably only going to get about $10 for this, but I do think it's cute. So anyways, that, oh, that is not it. I've got the, the stuff now that I've got to share. Uh, all right. So the stuff that's already sold, uh, first one was a North Face brown sweater. This was, I believe a size large. This sold for $20 on Poshmark and it took about a week to sell. Uh, next up was a pair of Lululemon leggings. Now I picked these up noticing all the pilling and knowing I was not going to try and depill it. Black leggings from Lululemon pill very easily and also are almost impossible for me to depill. So I knew if I pick it up for a dollar 
and I only get 20 bucks for it, it's still probably gonna flip quick. And it did, it sold in a couple days for $20. Um, could I have gotten more if I had put more work into it? Absolutely. This was a low rise style, so not as desirable. And uh, yeah, so next up was a, and that also sold on Poshmark. Next up was a Grateful Dead graphic tee. This was, I think, a muscle tank and it had kind of this tie dye look. A number of them had sold for around that 15 mark. And sure enough, mine sold on Poshmark for $15 within a couple days. So yeah, uh, for a dollar, I'll take it. All right, the next two items was actually a bundle of three items from Ruth, which she sent me a note uh, saying she had seen a couple items on my eBay store and was wondering if I could do bundle shipping. Uh, for eBay, and I know there's a way you can figure it out where it automatically applies, but typically if someone asks me if I can bundle shipping, I will just say, if you pay, I'll refund you the difference. Partly because I don't know, if how many, depending on how many items, what the shipping's gonna be. It's just easier for me to do it that way and it always ends up working well. So she actually got two items, which she must have just taken a look at the closet, or not the closet, but the eBay store before I got the video up. But um, anyways, Ruth, thank you so much. She got this uh, Miss Kelly 1999 sweater. I sent her a note back and I said, ironically, I was gonna wear these two sweaters in videos this fall. Um, thinking they wouldn't sell so quickly, but this one was adorable. I think Miss Kelly 1999 is just a boutique brand. I picked it up off of style and I thought it was adorable. That sold for $23.80 on eBay. And then uh, she also got these soft surroundings, or soft surroundings, it was an orange sweater. It had this really adorable kind of unique buttons down each side kind of a tunic, cowl neck, I believe. I don't have the picture up. But anyways, that had a little bit of pilling, which I believe I just noted. I hope I noted. Anyways, that also sold for $23.80 on eBay. And then she also got a, a third item, which, which was from a previous haul. But uh, Ruth, thank you so much. I hope you like the sweaters. Definitely have similar style for sure. And then let's see, there was a Tommy Bahama striped linen dress. This I believe had cap sleeves or sleeveless mini, lightweight, easy to wear. This sold in a couple days for $19 on eBay. Uh, then there was an Ava Franco black. It was a beautiful blouse. It's just so hard for me to capture the beauty behind certain black items just because that my photography doesn't pick up the detail very easily. But uh, this was a size large. Uh, it was a little bit of a shorter style or I probably would have kept it, but a Ava Franco is sold at Anthropology. This sold for $20.30 on eBay. I sent an offer to watcher. So, and then lastly was a Bowden striped tee. I couldn't quite figure out if this was girls or women's. And then when I looked it up, it was actually women's, but it had this glitter lightning bolt on the front. And uh, yeah, it sold for $15.40 on eBay within a couple days. So, you know, none of those are high dollar sales, but for a dollar, Again, I've already made my money back for all these items with just those few dollar items. So definitely happy. And I've got some other great stuff that's still gonna sell. So yeah, hit the thumbs up if you like the dollar day hauls as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.